Hi, I'm Sage and uh, I want to talk with you about the importance of self-care and particularly when it comes to beauty on your twin flame journey. So, you know, the, the number one part of your twin flame journey is that you have to give to yourself um, what you want from your twin flame, basically. So that way, like, you're not getting it you, from your twin flame, like they're not your source. You recognize that your source is the divine and that it's your responsibility to love yourself and to give yourself what you want in life. And um, that is like the polar opposite to the way that society um, implicitly teaches us today, which teaches you that you've got to manipulate outside things like you know, you have to like be a beautiful looking like empty shell to attract your twin flame. You have to like, you know, try to lure your twin flame with like how sexy you are. You have to um, do it with like your material possessions or whatever. Um, it's like mainly about like the external, whereas like the twin flame journey is about manifestation, law of attraction. Like, give to yourself the love that you want. Choose love within yourself and heal your upsets that are blocking your manifestation. And then you're going to manifest love, you know, um, in all ways, including on the outside. And, like, for me, like, I have done that and keep doing it. And, yeah, I'm in union with my twin flame now. But, yeah, I want to talk about um, the importance of, like, getting clear on what romance looks like to you and giving yourself that because you know there's a point where the healing that you're doing well it doesn't have its full effect unless you give yourself the things that you desire on the on the outside too um and the reason is actually because of how this journey is about having your twin flame like physically, you know, like you be with them and you, you live with them and you do things with them. And yeah, you have like a physical experience of romance too, you know, that's, it's spiritual first, but you're, this is about like bringing heaven to earth. So it's really important for you to like do the things that your heart's calling you to do. It's actually not frivolous or um unnecessary it's really important it, and it is part of your spiritual journey because like those things support you and they gift you emotionally and it's it's good for you you know like every part of life is meant to be brought into alignment with love and that includes the external things too it doesn't mean that you're like oh um i don't love this about myself so i have to change it um or anything it means I love myself and therefore I'm going to give myself the things that I desire, you know. And so for me, you know, that meant like for, I don't know, like before this video doing things like I tried a new style with my hair, a beautiful like bun basically on top of my head. Um, I, I don't know, I just hadn't known how to do that and I finally like figured it out. Um, I just used like a home waxing kit for the face and wax my eyebrows before this you know i put on my makeup i made sure to put on um some um what do you call it not rouge that's like an old-fashioned term blush um over the facial hair to like cancel it out color correct and then more foundation over you know i'm just i put on my lipstick i'm just feeling really good about my appearance here and i'm i feel joy from it and with it and that's i don't know that's like what you should be doing on your journey is doing those things that make you feel romanced you know like i wrote down a list yesterday in our ascension coaching session like we have coaches too um laurence and alexandra benzar and uh you know she invited me she was like basically you can do a lot of healing but it's not going to have much of an effect until you get clear what you want in romance you give it to yourself and 
yeah, just writing that list down, I was crying because I had suppressed it so much. I wasn't, um, I don't know, I was just ruling out romance for myself and thinking I wasn't lovable there. And so I just let that go. And in the act of like writing down what I wanted, you know, you're like making a statement to the universe and also to your twin flame and your, to yourself, like your union. And you're saying, this is what I want. It's what I desire and I choose and I'm going to have it. So, you know, if you do that, it can help you attract what you want, maybe overcome financial obstacles if there's something you want to give yourself, but you don't um, have the funds for right now or something. And yeah, just start doing anything that you can, not going outside of your means, but you know, for me, just simple, simple things, right? Like waxing my eyebrows or trying a new hairstyle was enough, right? To like make me feel really good and romanced by myself and yeah, it just raises my vibration. It increases my quality of life. It attracts more love with my twin flame. And yeah, it's just good. It's heavenly. It's bringing heaven to earth for myself. And so, yeah, you know, and you doing that and inspires others. It helps others on their journey and it helps you too, you know, on yours. And I just really recommend that. Like write down your love list for romance. Like what is romance to you? Flowers, chocolate, walks on the beach, you know? Uh, maybe like you like to do art that's romantic to you or decorating your house, whatever. Um, I bought myself some flowers yesterday. You know, uh, it was funny because it was the day before Mother's Day and like everyone was out buying flowers probably for their mothers and stuff and like feeling all like stressed about it and like, super obligation energy um over overall and then i was out like buying flowers for myself it was just funny and ironic like good inspiration um it just feels really nice like to give that to myself you know um it's just beautiful and it adds to our environment at home emotionally supports us um it's weird because at first like i was like I didn't feel anything with it because I kept telling myself like, well, unless you love yourself within, you won't feel good about flowers. And that's true, but there, it felt, it didn't feel good. It didn't come from a place of peace. It came from, you know, there's a way that the voice of, of fear or like ego, it can use good and solid spiritual principles to even like oppress you and to talk you out of giving yourself good things. So don't let that happen. Um, yeah, if it doesn't feel good, then it's not the truth. So yeah, I wanted to mention that, but yeah, that's basically like my quick guide for you um, on how to like, yeah, do things to romance yourself. So yeah, that's that. I'd really recommend going below and checking out the introductory Twin Flame Ascension course and also Romance Attraction. You get a coupon for that with the course and also one for a half off session with me or my Twin Flame or both. So check the links down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, to our channel for more wonderful content. And yes, I'm Sage and I will see you later. Bye. Happy self-romancing. <laughs>